The Orb's Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld is the debut studio album by English electronic music group The Orb, released as a double album on 2 April 1991 by Big Life. It is a continuous, progressive composition consisting of several tracks advancing the journey. Concept. Its framework is of a two-hour psychedelic trip through genres and studio electronics, produced to push the threshold of live stage performance, and comprising vocal samples and sound effects interspersed with original music. Topic background The Orb have always primarily been composed of one individual, Alex Patterson, along with numerous and varied individuals assisting throughout the group's recording career. Patterson began his music career in the 1980s as a roadie for the post-punk band Killing Joke before eventually leaving in 1986 to pursue his own musical interests. Influenced by the growing popularity of Chicago house music in Britain during the decade, and shortly thereafter began working with another ambient house pioneer, Jimmy Corti, who had been involved in the Killing Joke side project Brilliant. Patterson also performed chill-out DJ sets in Paul Oakenfold's Land of Oz Night in the Club Heaven, which included collaborations with Corti. Patterson said of these events, we'd build melodies up by overdubbing and mixing multiple tracks and then take an 8-track, or was it a 12-track, into heaven, just linking it up to three decks, loads of CD players, loads of cassettes. We used to keep it very, very quiet. We never used to play any drums in there. It'd be, just like, you know, BBC sound effects, really, four or five hours playing really early dub reggae. For all mankind. We had white screens so we could put up visuals as well. We had home movies of ducks in the park. We'd go for everything. It was all layering on top of each other, following success in the singles market with their releases as The Orb, including 1988's Tripping on Sunshine and The Kiss EP and a huge ever-growing pulsating brain that rules from the center of the ultraworld, both released in 1989. Patterson and Corti started work on their first album but split in 1990 due to disagreements about releasing the Orb's material on Corti's record label KLF Communications. While Corti released his portions of the planned album as Space and resumed his partnership with Bill Drummond as the KLF, Patterson moved on to his next collaboration, Little Fluffy Clouds, in autumn 1990 with Killing Jokes Youth. The track was recorded by an 18-year-old studio engineer and future Orb collaborator, Chris Thrash Weston. In April 1991, The Orb released The Orb's Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld for an audience familiar with their groundbreaking singles and several John Peel radio sessions. The album was received in the United Kingdom and Europe with critical acclaim, and reached number 29 on the UK Albums Chart. By mid-1991, The Orb had signed a deal to release the album in the United States, but were forced to edit the double-disc 109-41-minute UK release down to 170-41-minute disc. This version replaced Perpetual Dawn with a remix by Youth and Star 6 and 789 with its Phase 2 version, both available on the Perpetual Dawn single, and removed Back Side of the Moon and Spanish Castles in Space entirely. The full double disc version and cassette were later released in the US by Island Records. Topic artwork The cover for The Orb's Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld was designed by Graphic Design Collective The Designers Republic, who are credited for Orb Sonic Love Deep Space and Sampling Image in the liner notes. The album booklet features an image of the Battersea Power Station, as photographed by Richard Cheadle and treated by Dr. Chromagene, as well as an image of cumulonimbus clouds over the Congo Basin, taken from the Space Shuttle Challenger on 1 April 1983. The Battersea Power Station image was utilized as cover art for the U.S. release of the album.
Topic: Reception. In a contemporary review of the Orb's Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld, the NME dubbed it an album sounding like Pink Floyd without all the self-indulgent solos, concluding that reality is inside a pair of headphones overflowing with the Orb. Life will never be the same again. The flotation tank beckons. Selects Russell Brown wrote that, "...long and strange as it is, Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld is without doubt a good trip." At the end of 1991, Melody Maker ranked it at number 22 on their year-end top albums list, adding that it contained, "...some of the most unique sounds of the year." In the years following its release, The Orb's Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld has received continued critical acclaim. A 1993 list of the greatest albums of all time by NME placed the album at number 45. In 1999, Spin ranked it at number 82 on their list of the best albums of the 1990s, with critic Richard Gere opining that Ultraworld is art at its most functional, it works equally well as both Acid Peak Booster Rocket and as Prozac Ian Relief from an ecstatic all-nighter." In 2002, Music named it the seventh best dance music album of all time, while Slant Magazine deemed it the fourth greatest electronic music album of the 20th century. The following year, Pitchfork's Decade End List ranked the album at number 100, with Alex Linhart's accompanying write-up noting that it "...managed to make Ambient House a perpetual next big thing for the rest of the decade." John Bush of All Music cited The Orb's Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld as the album that defined the Ambient House movement. Topic. Track listing Topic Original UK release on CD, Sides 1 and 2 appeared on Disc 1 the Orbit Compact Disc and Sides 3 and 4 appeared on Disc 2 the Ultraworld Compact Disc. Topic. Original US release Topic: 2006 UK Deluxe Edition. Topic: Tracks details. Topic: Instrumentation and samples. Little fluffy clouds. A vocal sample of John Waite, presenter of Face the Facts, "...over the past few years to the traditional sounds of an English summer, the droning of lawnmowers, the smack of leather on willow, has been added a new noise." A Conversation with Ricky Lee Jones by Ricky Lee Jones, an interview from a promotional CD which came with some copies of her album Flying Cowboys. This sample was the subject of litigation. Electric Counterpoint, 3. Fast, by Steve Reich, performed by Pat Metheny. Man with a Harmonica, by Ennio Morricone. Jump into the Fire, by Harry Nielsen, source of the main drum loop. Earth Gaia. Dialogue by Max von Sydow and Peter Wingard from the film Flash Gordon Vocal samples of the Apollo 11 moon landing from the documentary film For All Mankind Hendrik van Dyck from the Family Bible Reading Fellowship Reading Book of Amos Chapter 9 verses 13–15 At 6.19 into the track, a sample of a Lithuanian news report G Passaras Lygir Satati Su Azabidziano Komunistu Partia. 
Dideli svori pajuto tortiskai na saitika azabijanikshari, ju popularusa slasvez frontas, kuris butu toligus musu sajujui. G pasaras lygir satati su azabidziano komunistu partia. They seem to have signed the agreement with the Communist Party of Azerbaijan. Nationally minded Azerbaijanis felt their big weight, their popular freedom front, which would be equivalent to our Sajudis movement. They seem to have signed the agreement with the Communist Party of Azerbaijan. Supernova at the end of the universe. Synthetic Substition", by Melvin Bliss Various flight instructions from Apollo 11 and Apollo 17 from the NASA documentary For All Mankind Various NASA samples A vocal sample of Slim Pickens shouting, Yahoo! from the film Dr. Strangelove or, How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Back Side of the Moon Various NASA samples A vocal sample from the album Some Product, Carry on Sex Pistols by the Sex Pistols. Spanish Castles in Space Spartacus Love Theme by Bill Evans Narration from the Soviet field recording albums of Ukovi i Bioelectriseski Signalirib audio and bioelectric signals of fishes. Perpetual Dawn Peppermint Twist by Joey D and the Starlighters Into the Fourth Dimension A vocal excerpt from Miserere by Gregorio Allegri An excerpt from the second movement of the Lamoroso Violin Concerto in E Major RV 271 by Antonio Vivaldi Outlands. Love Without Sound by White Noise. Blackboard Jungle Dub by Lee Scratch Perry. A Conversation with Ricky Lee Jones by Ricky Lee Jones, an interview from a promotional CD which came with some copies of her album Flying Cowboys. This sample was the subject of litigation. Some Love by New Age Steppers. Hot Tip by Prince Django. Europe Endless by Kraftwerk. An organ sound patch from a Casio C said 101 synthesizer. A huge ever growing pulsating brain that rules from the center of the ultraworld. Love and You by Minnie Ripperton. Slave to the Rhythm by Grace Jones Dub Influenced Ambience BBC Radiophonic Workshop Soundtracks 70s Ambient Pioneers Brian Eno, Steve Hillage, and Pink Floyd Larry Hurd's Chicago House Personnel <laughs> 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 Credits for the Orb's Adventures Beyond the Ultraworld adapted from liner notes. Topic: <inaudible> Release history. Equals <inaudible> equals footnotes. <inaudible>